MTG and me, this is Charles, and this nondescript white box contains From the Vault Transform. So let's crack it open and take a look. All right, let's go. From the Vault Transform, and the build quality of these, uh, this is my only my second From the Vault product I've ever purchased, but the presentation and build quality of them seems to be pretty good. They're all magnetically enclosed like this and they gatefold and yeah magnetically clasped here so the tray just slides out got a arguably collectible poster with a bunch of details in here talking about the 15 cards that are included Kithion, Jace, Liliana, Chandra basically all the Planeswalker flip cards the sort of random inclusion of Argel's Bloodfest. We got a two-sided Garrick, Elbrus the Blinding Blade, the Delver of Secrets, Archangel Avacyn, and Drusella and Bruna, who transformed to Brisella, Huntmaster of the Fells, an Arlen Court, and of course Bloodline Keeper. It's gonna stay in this box probably forever. Alright, so we get the From the Vault Transform specific spin down die. And we got our packs of cards. Now one of the common complaints we've seen online for these is that the cards in the packs are seriously off-center or tilted. Uh, and you can see my Delver of Secrets is off-center. Uh, it doesn't really show any sort of indication of tilting, but it is a little bit off-center. Now, does this really affect the playability of the cards? Not really. Does it change the premium feel of the cards? Uh, for me, as a former collector of sports cards, also not really. I mean, these things happen even for premium cards. There's my unprofessional cat popping in for a visit. Hi, Fred. He hasn't been on camera in a while, but uh, he's here. I know not everyone likes the cat on camera. Uh, I don't mind. All right. So let's take a closer look at these cards. So the first pack of five. I will say... Um, the foiling, stop it, cat. Yeah, goofball. <laughs> he wants to be the center of attention. Uh, so the foiling is unique. I mean, to the from the vault type products. Uh, I do have a little bit of a bend in these cards, but it's quite glossy for two sided card. It's it's pretty interesting. I think they look pretty good, except for my like I said, a little bit of a bend in these. Then we got. Bruna. It almost feels like uh, like high-end glossy photo paper. So Bruna. Actually, cards look pretty well centered on these. Yeah, I think the whole this whole pack had the corners bent slightly, but I mean, there's no no real creasing, so it's probably fine. You can definitely get that like glossy photo st stuck together ever so slightly feeling, um, but no visible marring or anything. There's our Chandra. The, uh, the foiling process used by the From the Vault really stands out on these, I think, because they're foiled on both sides. Um, they do have a kind of an unusual feeling to them. Then we've got uh, Elbrus, the Blinding Blade. Binding Blade. I really like this one. You cheat it out or somehow. And you flip it into this giant Withengar Unbound. Pretty neat. Probably play that in Commander. Then we've got a Garrick Relentless. Again, my cards look like they're very well centered overall. Uh, at least this pack is very well centered. No tilting, no visible tilting. You can definitely see that sort of oily line sheen foiling, eh? The way the metallic just kind of shimmers across the card. And this one, you can tell the corners. This corner actually has a little, tiny little crease in it. All right, let's go to the pack two with Delver of Secrets on the front and Nissa on the back. Okay, so let's start with Delver of Secrets. Uh, and you can see this one's a little more off-center, the borders on it, but the card looks fine. Uh, otherwise, nearly flawless, in fact. Then we've got the Gisela, the Broken Blade. Yeah, this is this whole pack's a little bit off-center. We get this two-sided Brisella Voice of Nightmares. And we got our Jace Vryn's Prodigy with Telepath Unbound on the back. Nice. Kithion, Hero of Akros. A Fred in frame there. Gideon Battleforge on the back. 
our Nissa Vastwoods here. Alright, last pack. So, Huntmaster the Fell. These ones look a little low in frame. You see that Huntmaster where the, the black on the border is. Then an Archangel Avacyn. Avacyn the Purifier. Archangel. Argyle Bloodfast. Temple of Alkazots. Alkazots. This foil Arlene Accord look good in the Werewolf Commander deck. It's quite nice. And then we have a Bloodline Keeper. Lord of Lineage. So that's from the Vault Transform. Alright. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you could help us by clicking that like button and leaving a comment. And to support the channel, please click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching!